all right let's go ahead and open up the play store let's go up to the search bar and type in dolphin emulator this is what the app should look like let's go ahead and install Now we have the Dolphin emulator installed and I have moved it to my home screen. Let's open the app. Allow Dolphin emulator to access photos, media, and files on your device. Click allow. This is basically just telling you that no private data is ever being collected. Click yes. All right, at this point guys, let's go ahead and turn our phones into landscape mode. All right, the first thing we're going to do is upload our games into the emulator. So let's come down here to the plus button and locate the folder on your phone where you keep your GameCube games. In my case, I created a folder called GameCube, and this is where I keep my games. I have four games in here. You want to click on select this. And then your games are going to load into the emulator and you're even going to get some beautiful cover art. Now let's say you have an SD card inserted into your phone and this is where your GameCube games are located. To access those, you wanna go back to the plus button and you wanna double click on the folder at the top with the two dots beside it. Click once, click twice, and you're gonna to get to this folder. And your SD card is gonna be the first option. In my case, it's 12D68F2C. Yours is probably gonna say something different. You click on that and you're in your SD card. I don't have any games in here, but if you did, this is where you can access those games. Now let's go into our video settings, and that's gonna be this little icon at the top. First thing you wanna check is that your video back end is running at OpenGL. Mine was set by default, but you can change yours if it's not. You have the option of running Vulkan or OpenGL. I prefer to run OpenGL. I find that works a lot better than Vulkan, but you can experience with that and see which one works best with your phone. Show FPS. I have a pretty powerful phone, so I don't need to see my frame rate while I'm playing, but if you do, you can click on Show FPS. Compile shaders before starting. This is optional. I prefer to do it. That way, once I'm in my game, I won't have any stuttering or anything like that. All of my shaders are load before I actually start my game, so I usually check this for smooth gameplay. Aspect ratio, let's go ahead and change this from auto to 416 by nine because I'd rather play in widescreen. Now let's go to enhancements. Internal resolution. Now this emulator can run games at 720p, 1080p, and even 4K. But once again, it all depends on how powerful your phone is. The best thing to do is play around with these settings and see what works best for you. I'm gonna go ahead and select four times. Another cool thing is that you can disable the fog. Makes distant objects more visible by removing fog, thus increasing the overall detail. Disabling fog will break some games which rely on proper fog emulation. This is optional. If you would like to click that, you can. I'm going to leave mine unclicked. Widescreen hack. Since we're using 16 by 9 ratio, we can go ahead and select widescreen hack. And that's it. Let's go back. And since we're not gonna be using the touchscreen buttons with the simulator, we're gonna be using a Bluetooth controller. Let's go ahead and set our controller up. So let's go up here and select the little controller icon. Then let's go to GameCube controller one and make sure it's on emulated. Now when using a Bluetooth controller with this emulator, make sure you have a connection with your phone before opening the emulator and this emulator will detect that Bluetooth controller, making it easy to set up. Now if you guys don't recall what a GameCube controller looks like, here's a picture to help you guys map your buttons out a lot easier. Now to map your buttons out, all you want to do is select the button you're ready to emulate. So let's select A. Press or move and input to bind to A. So let's press whatever button on our Bluetooth controller that we want to be A. B, same thing. Press whatever button on your controller to be B. X, whatever button on your controller you want to be X. And so on. You just go down the line and repeat the same thing for every button. All right, now let's go ahead and load up a game. I'm gonna select F0. Now, if you guys notice, 
even though we're using a Bluetooth controller, we still have those on-screen buttons showing, so let's get rid of those. What you want to do is drag down from the top of the screen and click on the three dots to the right. Configure controls, go to toggle controls, and you want to select toggle all. And there we go, our buttons are gone.